Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this motion in two dimensions problem, they give us this diagram right here and they want us to complete it by adding the acceleration vectors. And then they want us to come up with some kind of a problem for it. And they want us to make it so that it's a physics problem that we could solve for. So to add the acceleration vectors, what we're going to do is graphically the exact same as the acceleration equation. We've done this in the past few problems. But just as a review, let's go over it. So acceleration obviously is the change in velocity over the change in time. The change is going to be V final minus V initial, T final minus T initial. And so this right here, the change in the velocity vectors is what we're going to represent. We'll say that for this point right here, this is the initial and this is the final. So we take the initial one that we're subtracting by and we turn it backwards. And then we slide it over so that the tail of this one is touching the tip of this one. So I'll put it off to the side just so we can kind of see it better. So it's going to be like this. So this yellow vector right here is going to represent the acceleration for this spot. So you can see that it's slowing down. Now for the next one, we'll take this now as the initial velocity for this position. And this is the final velocity for this position and we'll do the exact same thing. Now let me change to a different color so we don't get confused with all the arrows going on here. So we take this one, we'll do it in blue now, turn it backwards, and then we slide it to um, tip to tail, and then we find the resultant vector. So you can see the acceleration still is going backwards, but it's also starting to turn to the center of this circular arc. Okay, now we'll do the same thing. All right, so here's all of our acceleration vectors. The yellow ones are representing the acceleration, so it's slowing down and then it's going in a circular motion at about the same speed, but it's changing direction. So the acceleration is pointing towards the center of the circular arc as we talked about, and then it starts to speed up. So now the acceleration is pointing towards that direction. So it's starting over here at the initial position, slowing down, going around the arc, and then coming up and speeding up again. So for this, we could say that it's a car slowing down, and then it's going around the circular arc, and then it's speeding out of the turn again. So for this, we, a problem we could say just exactly what we did, add the acceleration vectors and calculate the acceleration, and we could make up some numbers to figure out what the acceleration would be as it's slowing down from one point or something like that. And so for my problem, what I'll say is that we're going to do exactly what we were asked to do here is to add the acceleration vectors to complete the diagram.